What is up everyone, Parox here, and today we're taking a look at the map changes on Swamp and Highway. I'm starting off with Swamp up here on the north, and the first thing you're going to notice is the map, not the map, the spawn changes have completely, are completely different now. Uh, previously they were down around, I think, G3 and E9, but now they're in the very opposite corners of the map, and anytime you change spawn changes, spawn points like that, you're gonna get uh, just different gameplay in general. So the first major position I'm noticing here is this right here. You can shoot down into that new little town area without being exposed too much to the, the G line ridge. And they also added a ton of new hardcover up in the north over here. Before it was just kind of a flat area to drive around. There was a larger town over here, but that didn't provide too great of cover. You could always shoot through the buildings and stuff like that. It looks like there's a cool little dock area down there. I thought for a second maybe you could get up to that house, but then I noticed the red line, so there won't be any troll camping in there. But it does look you like you might be able to push people up in there, or maybe just drive in there if you have a fast enough speed. Who knows? When they change maps, uh, there's a lot of times people will just try to find a bunch of exploits to get insane positional advantages but anyway now we're moving up here where the old cap used to be and there is quite a few uh differences up here they added this big mound and i think this is going to be a nice position to kind of hide and shoot over to the the g-line ridge and maybe even on the opposite side of the the mound that's right next to this one there looked like there was a bush that you could sit in and shoot into the swamp and maybe on that ridge too. But this area up north, I can, maybe some medium tanks will go up here, but I can mainly see it as a heavy tank brawling spot, mainly because of just how linear this road is, the zero line road. It kind of reminds me of the, the changes that they did on Redshire, where they added that like heavy tank brawling spot where the big hill used to be. So maybe that's, That'll be how this plays out. I mean, it's kind of a straight shot with no real uh, exposure for heavy tanks, so I can see them going up there. And I'm not quite sure what this hill thing adds. I mean, I can, I think they were going for some hard cover for maybe tanks to push up into here, but you're really exposed from that position and to any tanks that may be over there. So it doesn't look like that will be too useful, except maybe in late game situations. Again, it all depends on how um, on how the pubs go about playing this new map, because a lot of people won't realize the map was changed and they'll still play it the old way, and maybe that will spawn off different tactics than I than I was looking at here. And it does look like they leveled out these ridges a little bit. You still might need some gun depression to fight in the majority of these spots, but wow, that was loud thunder. <laughs> anyway, it does look like they um, they drained this swamp a little bit, so that's kind of nice for heavy tanks and, and, and tanks in general just to get through here faster. And also another major change, they flattened, not flattened, but made a ramp up here. It is very open though, so I would be careful if you're planning on traveling up this ridge looks like that could be a good spot to take out the arty because both cap circles are really open. So you could get in there and kill their artillery quickly. Alright, so now I'm going to take a look at some positions on the this ridge. It doesn't look like you'll be able to shoot over that D4 spot that I was talking about earlier, so that's good news for that spawn. And it doesn't look like there's too too many good shots. I mean again you'll just be you'll have people sitting on both ridges sniping at each other and poking. But, it doesn't look like you can shoot over into that D4 spot, unless they expose themselves a little too much, but I don't see that happening. It's pretty easy to hide over there. It doesn't look like this road slash dried up riverbed has changed. It, they did add that new house right there. I think that's new. And what they really changed is is the old, uh, one of the old spawns, J that was up at J2, they added a whole castle. I'm just gonna zoom out here so you can really see the new buildings. There's this castle, and then there's a little town down there also. 
I think this is going to be a medium tank playground, especially up at this castle. It looks like there's a lot of flanking opportunities and kind of poke out, shoot. But what I can see happening is tank destroyers or just enemy enemy tanks in general camping down around maybe J8 and also up at, let's see here, E, F2, G2, kind of shooting into the town. And again, that position up at D4. So there, there's probably going to be a lot of fire concentrated onto this castle area. So it might be kind of dangerous to come here, but I definitely think it'll be a pretty important uh, place to control on the map. And I've seen that before. I think that's the when you go up to Himmelsdorf, Himmelsdorf on the south spawn. I think that's one of like the entrances. Not what that castle looks like. I don't know. Wargaming's been known to reuse their buildings, so I wouldn't be surprised. And it looks like that building, actually, there was a, just enough space where you could get like a, a higher profile TD behind there to defend the town, this little town, if it fell. And what I don't like about this town is how in straight, in straight of a line these buildings are arranged. Because when you have like straight cover like that, you can kind of inch up, but you're going to be exposed to someone looking straight onto it because there is no cover if someone is, you know, just say right over here and they can see like all the way down the side of the building. So I don't think that side of the town is going to be useful for many tanks. I really think the other side where there's like staggered buildings so you can hide behind. And this little area looks like it might be a good TD spot, maybe even just a light tank spot to, to light the enemies. And they definitely made this this area shallower too, more shallow. Yeah, before there used to be lots of water. I think you could drown in here, but looks like they added some sand. And this might be a nice scout run early to spot anybody on the ridge and maybe some mediums going into the, the little town down there. Alright, so now we're moving on to highway. I'm taking a look at the positions from the north spawn first. And right off the bat, boom, the map is flat now. Well, relatively flat compared to how it was beforehand. There's no big hills that you have to climb up to get in the cap circle. And like Swamp, it seems like they're changing that where you, do, you won't have to climb up hills to defend your base anymore. So I think that's definitely a positive. It prevents some, some capturing uh, quickly and without being able to return to the base. There is these two bushes here. Maybe to spot some medium tanks that are running out the 1-2 line. So I think that'll be a pretty good initial position, but not to stay there too long. It doesn't look like a majority of the fighting will happen over at this B4 rock. I think mainly the fighting is going to happen in this little city area, and I think it's going to focus heavily on these two new mounds at D5 and G5. So this one right here... You're shielded from anybody that's on the enemy team on the 1 2 3 line, and you can shoot over there. That's a very popular spot I've noticed, just going up to that mound. And you can shoot them from right here. I'm just checking out how, how you might be able to see down um, tanks driving down the 1 2 line from that position because you will be shielded from some of those buildings, it looks like. And they did change this. A2, A1, A2, B1, B2 area a lot. I don't think it's very viable if you have the north spawn to head down here anymore. Mainly because before, you could use the houses to hide behind, but there was also a little ridge um, right up here in this corner and by those houses a little bit that you could use to hide from any enemies that were on their team coming down the 1-2 line. You do still have all these buildings, but I think the enemy team has a bigger advantage than you mainly because they have this uh, this ridge line down here that they can use I mean you can use it too but I feel like it's just too open if you're on the north spawn and you're coming over here it looks like they'll be able to use it a little bit more than you and I, I just don't think that driving down to the a1 corner will be as useful anymore because you're just so out in the open with uh, Wargaming taking out that one ridge there. And another major thing that they changed was this field area. They added a lot more ridges in here so that I feel like the town is going to have more importance now 
Uh, well, it had a lot of importance before, but I think the field was a pretty big thing. Um, so what you can do from here is, I believe you can shoot over onto the, the little G5 area where I've seen a lot of players hide on the test server or shoot from over there. So I'm trying to figure out where you can exactly do that. You have to shoot through this red tree. I imagine it would be a little easier when there's actually tank silhouettes to aim at instead of me just kind of guessing where they might be, but it looks like you'll be able to hit tanks from this position. And also they added, uh, well, I, th I think they just increased the height of the, the land out here. There's a lot more ridges that you can hide in and use to get into the, not necessarily into the town, but over into this town area. You can see there's a ridge here and some trees, some bushes that you can use. It looks like you might be able to shoot some people who are heading into that little town now from that position. And if your team does win the uh, the town, you, you could um, run over here. I'm just looking at a, a scouting spot possibly now in these trees. But it looks like you can run over here and shoot the guys that poke out on the other side of that rock formation at, at G5. Especially over here. I found this position. I'm just kind of looking around. I'm like, oh, you know, there's a building here. Might be able to use it as some hard cover uh, slash some a camo opportunity since there are those bushes right there beside it. And I'm sure there are a ton of other opportunities to shoot down into the middle from the town. I just found this one in particular. I'm not sure how good it is going to be because this I'm just looking around in a training room kind of trying to find positions to use, but I, again, once it's on the live server and players are on, on this map constantly, we'll see how it, it plays out. Alright, so now we're on the south spawn, and one major change is the Behind the base, there is a, a dip now. I mean, Artie's obviously going to hide in all these trees here. Like, look how many trees and bushes there are now. It looks like they flattened out that one uh, hill that you had to go over, and there was just a small spot for Artie to hide in the back. But now there's all of this area, so you know, that's great. Especially if you like to counter, it'll be a little bit harder, I think. And there is like a... This is still in the dip, so you're pretty safe moving into the town and over to this ridge. Now I don't think that this this little rock thing is going to be too useful. Maybe in the later game when you're defending the base. Maybe. And I am trying to shoot over at that, that B4 area that I was talking about earlier with the initial position. Maybe we'll see some tanks poke out on the other side of that where, where this line of sight is. And it looks like you might be able to shoot shoot enemies that are over there. Doesn't look like there's too much uh, hard cover in the way. And again, it'd be a lot easier if there were tank silhouettes to shoot at, but I just had um, my brother's account on the enemy team. All right, so this position is pretty strong, I think, for defending the base when your team is losing mainly because you can kind of poke up here with your turret and then if you do need to reload or you're getting hit you can just fall back around this way because I doubt many tanks will be out in the field if they're if they're pushing on your base and this is the position I was trying to shoot at earlier from that ridge over there and it looks like you might be able to hit it through that that red tree and you can shoot the uh, the d5 rock formation like I was also showing earlier. So I think the main part that that's really going to be focused on in this map are these two rock formations here in D5 and G5. And also that new ridge line down on the 8 line, 8, 9 line near the town. I think that's going to be really important because if you can control that, then you'll be able to shoot into the middle where... I think a majority of the tanks will be now. I do feel that the north still has a little bit of an advantage because they don't have to... 
it looks like they're closer to the start of that ridge. Spawning from my base right now, you have to drive all the way up. And it doesn't look like you'll be able to get some initial shots, whereas in the north you might be able to. And now I'm just going to head over here to the 1-2 line. It looks like this ridge will protect you from any tanks that are out there. Although, I, I just don't feel safe going down to this, this area now. Uh, the houses are pretty f spread, spread apart pretty far, and there isn't really any bushes or trees, except for this little group up here. So that might be a, a scouting opportunity, maybe. It is a little too aggressive, but we'll have to see whenever it comes to the live server. It looks like they added a little bit more houses, maybe that barn down there. I'm not quite sure what was here, but it, again, I don't find these buildings too, too useful, considering there's a few of them and there's a lot of open space between them. And it looks like maybe some haul down mediums or mediums with tough turrets like the T-62A might be able to use this ridge. Not necessarily in this position, but down there on the A line. It looked like there there could be some haul down opportunities. And I can see this, this mound being used for uh, late game positions where you can kind of use that bush and shoot any remaining enemies that may be, may be camping back in their base. I'm just gonna get a look of this this new town here, how it all looks in the big picture. Um, I haven't had a chance, uh, nor do I claim about knowing any of the firing lanes in this town just yet, but it looks like there'll be some good opportunities to, to get some sneaky shots off on your enemies and, and play around in these buildings. So overall, I do think that these these two maps were in desperate need of a rework. Uh, mainly because they were just too campy, swamp and highway. With highway, it wasn't necessarily too much of a camping map, as the middle of the map wasn't really used at all, except for a couple of tanks. And I think that the north really had the advantage down the one line. But now with the addition of that B4 rock formation, I think some of the north, or sorry, the south had the advantage on the one line. But now I think the north spawn might be able to uh, prevent some more enemies from going down into that B1 area. And in general, the swamp rework looks amazing. There's so many more uh, bridges and rock formations and mounds that you can use and a lot of different pathways. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to work out. But again, these are just my first initial impressions. So some of it might be right, some of it might be wrong, but We'll have to see when it comes on the live server. Anyways, guys, if you've enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.